This should be the last one in the series. This is where we put the platform in place that uh, makes all these traps work. Now, uh, you'll notice that each quadrant has multiple teleporters on it. Uh, this is the part where uh, where the mobs cross over from one place to the other. It, the Their pathing forces them to use this spot. When they do, they will hit one of these teleporters. Now, each quadrant has its own set of unique codes. The teleports, too, is the important part. It, I'm using sin, Sinew because it's useless for anything else in the game. You can use whatever you want for your, port, for your porter codes as long as they are unique to this set of traps. Now, um, there are almost a hundred, there's like 60 some I think, uh, teleporters in this, in this, uh, this whole thing. You don't want them all going to one um, teleporter trap like they are in Etulin, in Etulin's, uh original, because this is a lot more critters uh, walking through. So you want each uh, quadrant, each claim, to have its own set of teleporters. Now I just, I use this code on this one. This is my teleport code here. <coughs> And as you can see, this one's different from that one. Each one um, will funnel into its own at the top once we build it. So, let's go ahead and place the, the blueprint. You want to grab the one that says Trap Platform, and we need to count out a couple spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where we want to place it, right here where these uh, corrupted stones are. But we want to place it one level above them, so we put a spacer block there, face the ladder, and now, if you come over and look, everything should line up. That hole right there should be at the top of the ladder, because that's where the ladder is going to go through. We don't need that block. And activate the thing. Make sure you got all your stuff. And then we just build it real quick. This one's really simple compared to the other ones. You just have to follow the blueprint. I mean, really, it's it's not hard. Honestly, if this blueprint is too complicated, then you want to rethink uh, whether or not you want to be building this trap in the first place. Now, put it in the ladder piece. Now, just like my other ladders, this has a rail system on the sides. All it is is just fence posts. It helps keep you from uh, from falling off each side. Now, when you use a when you use a rail system, though, uh, again, see, I'm I'm actively trying to step off, and I cannot do it. So, when you get to the top of a ladder like that, sometimes you have a problem getting off the top of it, and it just it kind of sticks. So you want to put a dismount block on each one, and it should whoops, it should line up with there. It should line up with the top of my aim is horrible. It should line up with the top of your of your ladder here, and it just so happens that these ice beds, being two blocks high, are perfect for this. And you know you want to have uh, some sort of bed in place anyway, so that you can sleep to. Uh, to reset the spawns when they when they stop you want to be able to switch a uh, day to night and night to day to start the spawns over again and as you can see you can walk right off the top of that without any problem now if you don't have one of these you could just you know stack a couple of these blocks right there instead like that and it'll work just fine you can see on the on the other ladders over there that's how I use the LEDs the LEDs serve a dual purpose um, they let me know well they solve multiple purposes actually they let me know um, in this nice really dark cave where the ladders are 
and the color coding on the LEDs tells me which set of ladders it is. So when I'm flying around and, and it's and it's easy to get disoriented, I can look at the color and I know, oh, I'm over here in the northwest quadrant, or I'm over in the, in the northeast, or the southeast, or the south southwest. Or the green one in the, is the, the green LED that I use on these is the one in the middle. The other purpose they serve is the dismount block that I was just talking about. They're high enough up where the mobs aren't going to climb up on top of it and get stuck. But, uh, and you can walk right under it and everything, but you can see them from everywhere. But uh, you can walk right off the top of the ladders just like you do on this one over here. Alright, so back to what we were doing. I'm going to fill this in real quick. Actually, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put the... We'll put this stuff in before you go any further because it's difficult to otherwise. All right. And, uh, build the four teleporter traps here real quick. This last teleporter right here, this is the one that you use to actually get into and out of uh, this this big spawner because it's totally boxed in. You've got no way in, so you just drop your teleporter here. And when you dismount off of here, you should stop without running into the teleport unless you just keep on running. So <coughs> we're going to go ahead and fill these in real quick. Now, you'll see that uh, that I've got these fences up around up around the the teleporter traps. This is different again from the way uh, Inchulin has his original built. Uh, this is intentional because there are so many mobs going through these teleporter traps that sometimes they'll overflow and they'll just pop right out of the trap. And I'm not sure if that's due to, to uh, the lag that's created from having so many of them going at one time, or if it's because of uh, the fact that uh, that they're, that the game will only allow so many mobs in one spot at one time. You, you'll see that happen when you try to put too many pets in one spot. They just won't stay there. They'll just keep moving out. They'll keep uh, moving around. Um, I think that's the main cause for this. Anyway, the point is... <laughs> The point is, uh, if that happens, then you'll wind up with a whole bunch of mobs just wandering around on your platform, and they just keep wandering around up here, and they never, they never die. But as you can see what happens here, if a mob, for whatever reason, doesn't stay up in the trap, it falls down here, and then it wanders to the edge, it won't cross the fence, it wanders to the edge, falls back off the platform, down onto the, onto the spawning platforms, and as you can see, they head right back towards that trap, so they just cycle right back in, and eventually they'll die. It's just the, <clears throat> it is the nature of... It is the nature of the of the trap that Intulin built. It takes advantage of the of the the pathing AI of the mobs. It's I mean it's really an ingenious little thing. But this kind of helps prevent some of the weirdness that happens, you know, things that just couldn't be helped. Now, as you can see, my blueprint blueprint includes plenty of storage. Because you are going to get an ungodly amount of loot out of this thing. I mean, it's just, this is a loot factory. There's no way in the world I'm ever going to use all the loot that's <laughs> that this thing generates. I'm just not. But, since I'm a hoarder, I like to, I like to have these here because uh, you will fill up your inventory trying to loot all this stuff and won't have any room. And you'll be constantly deleting, you know, like extra recipes and stuff. So you just dump all your stuff here and just go right back to looting again. And then if the loot spawners stop, I mean, if the mobs stop spawning, you just, uh, you rest real quick, reset it, reset the spawns, and go back to looting even more stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, there we go. That thing is completed. And the 
that should pretty much be it for you. Oh, we do have one more thing I forgot we need to do. Whoops. One more thing we need to do. On each one of these, we need to go through and make sure that you put the correct materials in there. Otherwise, there's no telling where these things will end up. Oh, oh forgot one thing. <coughs> now, I've already set up all the other teleporters down throughout the quadrant. So, there should be 16 that come to this portal and this one shouldn't see I've got the I've got the matching up it doesn't actually go anywhere that's just the way it works a teleporter that targets itself doesn't do anything so there should be 16 coming to this portal and none going and none going away if you don't have these numbers if you don't have 16 then you have got then you've got some of your teleporters down inside that quadrant over there that are not set up properly Now I think in theory you don't actually have to put these materials in because it's registering even without them in there. But you never know how things are going to play out in this game so I go ahead and put them in just just to be sure. Plus, you know, what else am I going to use it in for? Hey. Put in whatever codes you want to, to get to and from this teleporter uh, to your base or wherever you want it to go. Okay, you'll notice one more uh, uh, big difference between uh, the way that I have my traps set up and the way Angelin uh, did his in the original. As you can see, I use regular water, just plain water, uh, in the traps instead of corrupted water. Uh, the reason being, uh, well, number one, the trap relies on everything just drowning to kill it. And plain water do that just as effectively as corrupted water. But, uh, number one, it doesn't require a Lumite cell. You can pull plain water with a much lower level cell. Uh, number two, the most important one though is if you stumble into your trap, uh, into one of those teleporters out there, now you can get out of the, the trap and I'll show you. I'll go ahead and fall in one. There. All you gotta do is just hop up and you pop right out. Now, the problem is uh, with the corrupt water, the whole time you're in there, you're taking damage. So if you lag or you get stuck for any reason or if you're low on health, you can die in that trap quite easily. But with just plain water, as long as you don't somehow make yourself drown, you're fine. You just step right out and you're good to go and never take any damage. Now, you do have one other option um, for killing the mobs uh, in these traps. You can use mineral water. Mineral water will kill corruption mobs and it will leave all the other mobs alone. They won't drown in it. So if you are trying to tame uh, keepas and you use mineral water, say like that keeper over there, he'll walk in that trap, he'll drown in anything other than mineral water. But if it is mineral water, they won't drown and you can just walk right up to it and you can target them through here and you can tame them. Or you can let them out or whatever you want to do with it. Personally, I don't really worry about trying to tame the keepers through this one because I have other ways that I that I use to spawn keepers and, and tame them. But more more to the point, this thing generates so much loot it's it, it's insane. You don't even need to worry about taming and feeding a keeper. You can just kill what shows up through here. See, look, there's a golden keeper. Just kill what shows up through here and collect its loot, and you don't have to fool with all the upkeep. That, that's it for this part. Happy looting.